Hello, my name's Tina McDonnell. Thank you for joining me today. I wondered if it would be helpful to talk about sleep. Um, I've noticed in myself that sleep patterns have been affected during the pandemic in that tired all the time, going to sleep is difficult. I don't do waking up in the night, but I know from speaking to others that that is something that's going on early era wake-ups, um, going through those patterns, the ruminations in the head, all of those things. So I have one small breathing technique, which is helpful. And anybody who knows me by now knows that breathing is my first point of call because it's really important. The other thing that's really important right now around sleep is your sleep patterns. So things might be very difficult and very different for you in that normally you might set an alarm at a certain time, get up, travel to work, come back, and maybe now you're working from home, or you might be unfortunate and be one of the, the furloughed or the self-employed that are not earning and are at home as well. So to add into that, we have stress, we have anxiety, we have an unusual circumstance. So we're at home with people we wouldn't normally be, and we're at home for an awful lot longer than again we would normally be. All of these things and maybe we're used to an awful lot more exercise and that's something that we're not doing for as long, for as often. We can't access because we do all of our exercise in the gym. So things you do during the day can help your sleep pattern at night and I think routine is one of those things. So. During the day, try and get some exercise, keep to the guidelines. If you're not going out, if you have technology, if you're able to watch this, then you're able to go online, find a yoga, some Pilates, some jumping jacks. If you can't do any of those things, then time yourself by putting on the radio at a set time and switching off at a set time. And during that time period, Every song, whether you like it or not, you're going to dance. You're going to dance like nobody's watching and you are having a ball. Throw yourself into the dancing. Get the heart rate up. Use it as exercise. There's lots of things that we can do. They might not normally be things that we would use in our life or things that we would think of as exercise. But at the moment, things are not as they normally would be. So we're creating new normals. We're creating coping strategies. So if every quarter of an hour you get up, you walk up and down your stairs or your hallway, or you time yourself running around your living room, and then you can calculate. You know, I heard that in, in China when, when their pandemic was with them, that, that a man ran a marathon by running around his living room. I know there's a woman in Edinburgh that's just done a half marathon, excuse me, in her front garden. So there are lots of things that you can do. It's thinking out of the box and engaging with what you're doing and counting it for what it is. It's an exercise that's going to help you feel the same way you have at the end of a tired day normally through different methods. So the other thing to look at is the patterns on the build up to sleep. So set an alarm for when you want to be asleep. An hour before that, you set an alarm. So that's telling you from here on in, I am working towards going to bed and sleeping. Now they're two different things. You're going to bed and you are sleeping. So the hour before you want to be asleep, you're working towards going to bed. Clean jammies. I know lots of people who are working in jammies. I personally want to work in clothes maybe more comfortable than when I was in the office or with a client face to face, but I want to wear clothes that are clothes. So night time, put on, even if it's a different set of jammies than you've had on all day, sleeping jammies. So put your pyjamas on, turn off your phone, turn off your television and spend an hour 
reading, breathing, winding down. This is an active going towards sleep time of the day. Now turning off everything to some people I understand might be scary because when you have silence then you have inner noise. So again, switch your radio on in the background and put it on to a calming, quiet, even if you don't like classical music, classic FM, calming, quiet, not engaging your brain with thinking, with the blue light from your screen, just running in the background and actively working towards sleep. If you feel it's easier, then remove yourself at the time your alarm goes off from your normal position of being in the living room and go to bed to lie and read. Give yourself an hour of reading. Work out what actually would help you feel you're working towards sleep. The next thing to do is pop a notepad and a pen beside your bed because if you have an early morning moment of what if, what about this, did I do that? Write it down. That's the only engagement with anything that you are okay to be doing because it's offloading your brain, not putting more information in. Do not switch your phone on. Do not check the news. Do not look at messages. Just simply say in the short bullet point moments on the pad, did I do this? Tomorrow we're having that for tea. I feel really quite scared. I am anxious. Acknowledge what it is your body is telling you because then the next day you can look towards soothing, working that out. So sometimes getting off to sleep, that's my particular problem when I'm stressed, I can't get off to sleep because my, my brain is racing. Now I meditate regularly and sometimes that doesn't work while I'm lying in my bed. So I do a particular breathing pattern. It's a four, seven, eight, and it sounds ridiculous, but I've, I often do it and then I do it several times and then think, woof, this isn't working. I don't know why I do this. And the next thing, my morning alarm is going off. So I don't know how it works. I don't know what it does. I don't want to research it. I just want to do it and be thankful, to be grateful that I have this technique. So four, breathing in to four. Hold your breath for seven. Now that sounds like a very long time. And sometimes when you're doing it, maybe on the third or fourth repeat, it feels like a very long time, but go with it. So four in. Eight. Four in, hold for seven, eight out. Four in, hold for seven and release to eight. If you find that pattern quite commanding with your breath as it were, then do one set, breathe normally for a while, do another set, Breathe normally for a while. You don't have to march into 478, 478, 478. That takes time, but it's worth a try. So set an alarm an hour before you want to go to bed. Sorry, before you want to go to sleep. So set your alarm, do your hours wind down, sleep. Use your breathing to help you sleep. If you wake up during the night, then use your pad. Don't engage with anything else. Just write down what it is that's coming up. And in another video, what we'll do is we'll have a look at those things that arise when you're waking in the early hours. So calming music, reading, just lying in your bed and relaxing scanning your body internally to see 
what's going on in there, how your body is coping with things, reminding your body that this is healing time, this is downtime, this hour before going actually to sleep is working towards just that. Set an alarm for the morning, even if you're not working, not every morning, but just for a routine, whether it's every other day, Monday to Friday, whatever it is that works for you, this is the time to think about you. What works, what doesn't work. Trial and error, the things that you do find some benefit from, pop it in your diary, remember it, and use it again. Work on the good days, helps the not so good days. Sleep patterns help more good days, because we all need sleep. We all don't need the same amount of sleep, but we all need some good quality sleep. So today we've talked about sleep. We've looked at a breathing pattern that is proven and trusted to work. Um, and I hope it's been helpful. Like everything else, these waffles are not meant to be perfect. I'm not perfect, that's okay. But what we're doing is we're helping each other to share a common thing. And that is at the moment that lots of us are having an affected sleep, disruptive pattern, whether it's too much or not enough, or it's a waking up in the early hours. So again, my name's Tina McDonald, and this has been Tina McDonald Counselling, talking about sleep. Please leave some comments below. Please subscribe and you can get more waffles. How lucky are you? Thanks for joining me. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.